But it's not just the chefs who need to be aware of the food and produce served on board. Flight crew are encouraged to become foodies and increase their understanding of what's on offer. Bradbury's have been suppliers of vintage cheeses for over 130 years and today offer over 450 different selections from around the world. Working with the distributor en route, they provide premium classes at Emirates with over 6.7 million individual pieces of cheese every year. This is a classic Spanish cheese, this is Manchego. So our great cheese, sweet, this is Garcia Banquera. He's the number one maker in Spain, makes an amazing Manchego, totally unique, and we, we regularly have that one on board. In a recent trip to Dubai, they hosted a series of workshops for crew members, where they helped explain the history and maturity of many of the cheeses, serving suggestions and recommendations on how best to preserve the optimum flavors. Working with the Emirates crew management and catering teams, the session also emphasised the importance of pairing, analysing the taste, textures and qualities of individual cheeses and identifying which of the many wines and drinks served on board would best complement the individual flavours. This one, you smell it, it's clean. Can anybody smell anything? You can't smell anything off or bad, it, it's, there's, there's almost no odour to it. So again, spongy, slightly soft. If that gets warm, it gets creamier and better. That, we probably should cut that a little bit earlier. So I'm playing with it. If you eat that, nobody can be offended by that cheese. Anybody not like that? Fun and easy. And it should go quite nicely with that wine. I've actually not tried it with this wine yet. Simple, clean, there's no clash. But you can get the fruitiness coming out of that wine. You can get the grapiness, crisp and fresh. Simple. They're a good combination, a good match. What you've got to bear in mind is cheese is a living, breathing product. Um, you know, one batch is very different to another, and it's about getting that consistency of the product uh, across the board. And where you have a, a cheddar, for instance, you have a cheddar maker um, in one particular place, a mile down the road you can have another cheddar, and the tastes are completely different. And that's because uh, every maker wants to make their own cheese distinctive, whether that be a cheddar or a brie or a camembert or a blue cheese. Um, and that's the beauty of cheese. There is, there is a, a kaleidoscope of different flavours and products out there. Uh, Cinco Lanza's uh, Grand Reserve, definitely. That's my favourite. Yeah, it's a mixture of all three kinds of milk, goat, uh, sheep and cow. And it's, it's really, really intense and there is a lot of salt inside. And it's really nice, especially with the wine. Uh, the wine and cheese, it rinses, they, they rinse each other, which is beautiful. Right, okay, last two. We've got England against Italy here. So, you've got one that's more yellowy and buttery. If you want to go for that one first, that's classic English Stilton. This is from uh, Cropwell Bishop, the village of Cropwell Bishop near Nottingham. Uh, lovely stil classic Stilton, only made in three counties. It's one of the most famous PDOs in the UK. Cow's it's cow's milk cheese, yeah. Smooth, creamy, should have that little bit sharpness of the blue, bit of saltiness. Got very different aftertaste. Well, I'm extremely passionate like about cheese and wine and having someone that like has expertise and is a professional uh, that can actually guide you through uh, you know all the productions, how the cheese is placed, like temperature, like how it should be paired if it's a white or if it's a red or if it's a port wine or a dessert wine, you know, it's fantastic.